Hello, this and that family. I am Roselle, your soon to be number one YouTube host, and welcome to This and That. This week, I'm super excited. I'm stoked. We're going to be doing a, uh, a remodification of uh, the Big Easy, a greaseless turkey fryer basket. We're going to be unboxing not one, but two baskets. Uh, and we're going to show you a little bit of even our meal prep and the benefit of modifying your basket. I'm super excited. Y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back. First things first, let's pretend it's Christmas and let's do some unboxing. To I was told by a fellow uh, Big Easy owner that the new Big Easy's come with a collapsible basket. But since I'm not planning on returning it, let's just get down in here. All right, here we are. Can you see that? It's a collapsible basket. Oh, it's windy out here this morning. Interesting. All right. Can you see that? Collapsible basket. And I was told these hooks fit in your holes here. Looks good. The only problem is that doesn't work for my modification. Plus, I, I load my basket in the kitchen or somewhere else I put my chicken in, my ribs, whatever I'm doing. I hate to say it, but I don't think this is going to work for me hardly ever. So if this is what the new Big Easy is coming with, this collapsible basket, then that's going to be a problem for me and for most of our, the old timers that do this. All right, set that aside. Now let's unbox. There we go. There she is. That is your original granddaddy of the baskets. There you have it. Now I've got three baskets. I wanted a new replacement basket since I had modified that one. And I was going to show you, the viewers, the modification and how we went about doing it. But it's simple. I simply cut this is your lower wire and I left this one here the reason I did that in case there is corn or potatoes on there and they want to roll I left that one there in order to keep it from rolling out I almost cut this one too to get, give myself a little more room but then I thought better of it so I basically just took a pair of uh, wire cutters and cut this I'm not even gonna cut it today you see what's going on I basically just cut this wire out that was it and then you drop this basket in this is the purchase I made about a year year and a half after I got my first basket you drop that one in for your second layer and then as you'll see later in my uh, when I'm showing you uh, my uh, what I'm cooking you'll see that I had the uh, tray the uh, grill tray that goes on top so it allows me to prepare a three course meal at one time I even, I've even cooked grits and eggs on this thing on my top uh, grill basket. So there you have it. But once again, I am not going to be a fan of the collapsible basket. I'm not liking this at all. I'm not criticizing it. If it works for you, that's fine. 
but this will not work for me. I can't think of any application where this basket is going to work for me. So if your basket, if your, if the new Big Easies, I haven't reached out to uh, Char Brawl yet, but I'm going to reach out to him and find out for sure if this basket comes with every new Big Easy, and if it does, that's a no-no for me. I would have to go out and purchase another basket in order to cook and use the use it the way that I like using it. So, as promised, we're going to do a quick three course meal. It's not really going to be a three course meal, just three different items. We're going to do chicken wings, chicken legs, and corn on the cob. And it'll be layered just as I showed you. And I'm going to show you the ease of application and exactly how this thing works perfectly for me. Here's why we modify. Modification, opening here, corn on the cob. already on and heated up and ready to go. Put that in right here. Now, take our grate, put it up top, and here we're going to put our two steaks. Now as you can see, we have a full course meal going. Corn, chicken wings, chicken thighs, and two steaks. We actually had room for a little bit more if we chose to. But that's why I modify that rack. So when I pull it out, I can manipulate my food around without having to take each one of those racks out of place. Only thing I gotta do is remove my top grate, pull the rack out, and I have everything right there uh, in my convenience. All right. It appears that meat number one, meat number one, the steaks, already. Look at there, look at there, look, look at there. Look at there. Don't y'all hate the player, hate the game. Look at them things. Whoo! That's about five, six minutes on each side. That's how my wife likes them. She likes them medium well. And that's perfect on that grill. All right, so we get rid of that. That right there. Oh yeah, chicken looking good. We got about, let's see, I can show you. Whoa, microphone. Get out of there, microphone. I can show you better than I can tell you. Look at that right there. Look at what's going on right there. Can you see that? That's about another half an hour. I'm gonna leave that top off. If you know anything about the Big Easy, uh, they'll tell you when you first get them, if you put this original top on, that's if you want it to cook faster. They actually recommend that you leave this off unless like it's cold outside or something. So now we're gonna really get the cooking. Hold up, y'all. I had gone back inside. I was gonna put the steak aside and wait till I got the whole meal prepared. So I snuck a small bite of the steak and I had to come back. I couldn't, look at this, look. Now it's a little bit rare that my wife likes it, but I like mine. Just take a cigarette lighter and run underneath the meat just to warm it up. Yeah. 
All right, we're about done. Gas off. Gas off here. And boom. And as promised, we're going to show you the benefit of the modification. Oh, there was a whole stake here at one time. Now, we can reach right in and take the corn out. If we had not modified this, where are we here? All right. If we had not modified that, we'd have a rack here and there'd be no way to get the corn out or whatever you had underneath here. Come on. Boom. There you have it. And by just using half of the top chicken rack for the chicken or quarters, I can pull a wing right off. And there you have it. The reason for modifying the Big Easy solid one piece turkey uh, cooker rack. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the video you just watched. And if you did, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and like us. And if you didn't enjoy the video, go ahead and give us a thumbs down and leave us a polite comment in the comment section explaining why you didn't like the video. And that'll help us to improve. And in the future, we can bring you better content, more in-depth content, and hopefully get you to uh, subscribe. Thank you. Peace.